Hi, I'm David John with General Produce Company here in Sacramento, California. Today we're going to talk about something not as much as the product, but how that product is grown. This is called waterless growing or dry growing in some areas. It's been common back east in some of the grain areas, but it's becoming very popular with our local growers here around the Sacramento area. It originally started in the valley with some grapes and olives, and, and not these grapes that we eat, but the wine grapes. And they had very good success to today, still some of that practice is done. With more and more of the drought conditions coming up, the small local growers are looking at older ways that farmers used to grow, and they're coming back with the same thing. This particular grower has been doing it for many, many years, back into the 80s, and some of the ancestor of this back even early into the 1900s with some of the grain. They'll focus during this time of the year on the potatoes. But during the summer months and spring months, they'll come up with tomatoes, some melons, some things that are just really amazing that you're noticing with no water added to the soil. All the soil is by how they condition the soil and how they crest the top. They actually roll the top of the soil to crest it and preserve the moisture underneath. Many people say that the flavor of these are better because it's more natural flavors. The roots go deeper, they bring on a little more of the natural moisture to them themselves. But these butter balls, these red fingerlings, and even these fingerlings, you'll be hard pressed to tell the difference from any of the commercial growing. All grown waterless right here locally around Sacramento. For more information, contact us at General Produce. And that's the Produce Beat.